Underneath the surface of your skin Spreading like a wave for the What is going on guys? It's your boy Moose coming at you with another video. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of review videos of like clothes and brands lately. I've just been really trying on a bunch of different clothes and obviously leather jacket as you may know. And lately, in this past week, I've been super obsessed with sunglasses. I don't know why. Like I've just been looking up different brands and trying to find different frames that would like fit my face shape well. And so there's this brand called Warby Parker and they have this really cool thing where you can try on five different frames, they'll mail them to you for free, and then you have five days to mail them back to them so they don't charge you. And I already actually own a pair from Warby Parker, which I like. It's right here. The, it's called the Barkley, it's the narrow version, the very small version. And I like the way they fit. They're just a little bit big right here. Um, I do like that, it's like an aesthetic, but now I want like a pair of sunglasses that are a little bit smaller. Maybe something I could wear more formally, you know, like with a suit or something. Um, these I like for maybe like a streetwear look, um, but I want something more sleek, just more professional looking. I thought, you know what, why don't I try some frames from Warby Parker and see what would fit my face shape well. Most of these that I did order were actually round sunglasses because I've tried on so many square ones and I like the way they look and so I wanted to give like round ones a try. But their packaging is actually really good. It's very simple and sleek and they even give you the return label in the box. So it's very simple. Now before we try, try these on, I do want to let you guys know a few things that are important when finding like right sunglasses for you. I'm not an expert at this, but there's a few things I do know. One is when you're buying sunglasses, it's really important for the sunglass shape to contrast your face shape. So basically, if you have a square face, right, you probably want to get like round sunglasses. Now, again, this is not like set in stone. There's definitely exceptions. Sometimes you'd be surprised certain sunglasses will just look good on you that you would not expect. Um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have an oblong face shape. I definitely don't have diamond, I know that. I don't think it's square. So it's either oval or oblong. And I'm pretty sure with oblong, you can wear a wide variety of lenses. Um, the only thing is I have a small face, so that's why I can't wear big sunglasses. So most of these sunglasses I ordered have a very small lens width. Three numbers that are very important. They're usually on the left side of the, what is this called again? I literally just thought, I was about to say it's called the artery. That's not. <laughs> so on the left side of the temple, you see this thing right here, this long, yeah, this is called the temple of the sunglasses. On the left side, there's three numbers usually. And so the first number represents the lens width, second number represents the nose bridge, and the last number represents the length of the temple. Before I wear all these sunglasses, I'm gonna you know, talk about the numbers. So these are the Percy's, these are very tiny. I specifically wanted to try these on. These are a turtoise. They got a turtoise look with a very yellowish brownish lens frame, um, which I like. Um, these are 48, 21, 40. That means the lens width is 48 uh, millimeters. The nose bridge is 20, which 20 is kind of a lot. The temple bridge, or the temple length. The temple length is 140 millimeters. Um, this is a lot smaller than the ones I currently have, except the nose bridge on these is bigger. Again, I've already tried these on, so um, I actually love these ones. I think they fit me the best. And again, my hair is like really messed up right now, so I haven't even styled it that well. Um, and it's long, I do want to cut it again soon. Um, so I love these the most. Like, just notice how much smaller the, the lens is. It's a big difference. These are the ones I originally have. I still like these, but these are way bigger. You know, these are 53 millimeters with these ones are 48. Big difference, right? So those are the Percy's, guys. Um, I'm highly considering getting sunglasses like these. Um, but again, this video is just to try these on. The next one that we're gonna try on is called the, the Haskell Whiskey Turtoise, right here. It's pretty similar, it's a bit bigger though. The lens width is 49 millimeters, the nose bridge is 22 millimeters, and the temple is 45. Now this is really long. Ideally for myself, I like a 140 millimeter temple. Now let's see. Let me get a phone for this one. I forgot how these ones look on me. These ones don't look bad at all, honestly. They look fine, but the temple is really long, so if I cut my hair, it's gonna be sticking out, and I'd have to curve it. I'd have to go to the store and have them like curve the temple at the end, and I would not want to do that. Um, I think these fit me pretty good, but they're not my favorite. These are the Husky, or the Haskell Whiskey Turtoids. The next one that we got. Been so trying on sunglasses is so fun. These are called the Toppers. Topper, that's literally that fool's name in Outer Banks. I did not like that kid. Um, he's on that turquoise mat. These are 48 millimeter frame width, 21 nose bridge, and 142 temple. That's not a bad size. The weird thing is these ones, these ones sort of slide off. There's only like a one millimeter difference with the first ones I tried, the Percy's, and those did not slide off at all. Just sliding off a little bit, not too much. They're not my favorite, but I mean, honestly, there's not a huge difference with all these sunglasses. I just wanted to figure out the right size. Yeah, again, they're kind of falling off. Weird, just a one millimeter difference. So I'm definitely kind of weary of that. It's weird. 
With the nose bridge, I've noticed that it's very iffy. Like, there's no one size fits all. Because my original sunglasses that I have, the nose bridge on them is 16. And that's a huge difference. So you would think it fit me tight, but it doesn't. Like, it just fits me fine. <clears throat> Next one that we are trying are called the, the Wright Walnut Turtoys. 49 millimeter width of the frame. 18 millimeter nose bridge, so a lot smaller than the rest for the nose bridge. And 140 tempo length. Okay, that looks like a lot more than 140, but okay. Let's see. These ones don't fit bad at all, actually. These ones fit pretty good. Yeah, I like these ones. Fits me good on the nose bridge, that's very important. Yeah, these are good, these are a pass. I like the right one with your toys. The last ones are the Downing English Oak. I think these look cool. They have a 48 millimeter frame width, a lens width, 21 millimeter nose bridge, and 140 millimeter temple length. These ones, I don't know what the deal is, but like, they slide off a lot. Like they just, if I move a little bit and stuff, they just slowly start sliding off. Like, they just, I can't keep them at the top. You can slowly see my eyebrows easily, which is not a good look. Like, it's almost like, it's not good. And, and it's really weird because one of the sunglasses I just tried on, um, I think it was, when I tried on the Whiskey Turtoys, they have a way bigger nose bridge, but they don't fall down. These ones fall down the most out of all of them, which I don't understand why. So I feel like it goes to show that even the shape itself of the nose bridge makes a huge difference. Like this one has, technically it says it has a 22 millimeter nose bridge, but like the shape is way different than these ones, you know? If you look, these ones, like they point in. And so maybe that's why these ones are the, the whiskey turtoys and so if you notice these ones they don't fall off at all they fit me almost like as if this is like an 18 millimeter um nose bridge which is weird it just goes to show you really have to try them on like you cannot know for sure um and so overall again guys my favorite ones for sure were the the Percy's. i think these fit me the best um, I just love the way these look. I want your opinion as well. Um, I think it could be like a tie between these and and possibly these ones, the Whiskey Turtoys. I think it could be a tie. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But let me know if you guys thought some other ones look better on me. Again, my hair is like really messed up right now, so I'm sure it impacts the way the sunglasses look on me. They're way too, my hair is way too long right now. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy any of these at all yet. Again, my main purpose with this was to figure out like what size, specifically the frame and the nose bridge for the most part. And so it seems like 48 millimeters to 49 millimeters for the frame, um, for the width, is like the right size for me. Based on what I just saw with the, for the nose bridge, like it really depends on like the style and the shape of the sunglasses. So I'm to say for the nose bridge, but um, overall, I found out my size, which is good. I highly recommend you guys trying out Warby Parker and try out their free try-on. Um, deal, which is amazing. They don't charge you until the five days are up. It's definitely worth a shot to check it out. And you can choose up to five free sunglasses. Again, this is not even sponsored at all. I just wanted to make this video on it. So I thought, why not? Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know which ones you thought looked the best on me. I'd love your feedback because I can be biased maybe on myself and you know, it's really, really helpful for me when I get feedback on my outfits, my clothes, my style, my sunglasses, whatever it may be. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Take it easy, everybody. Choo, choo, choo. I know how to make the girl go crazy. When you treat her like you're number one, baby. Put my bitches on, yeah, sweet, don't do jet skis. Put your